Moving on, on his first state visit to DRC, Kenyan President William Ruto has conveyed Nairobi's willingness to fight rebel groups operating in the east of the country and pacify the situation here. Meanwhile, Uganda also announced sending 1,000 military personnel to neighboring Democratic Republic of the Congo by the end of this month. The latest developments follow the dispatch of military personnel as part of an East African community mission earlier this month. More in our next report. In his first state visit to the Democratic Republic of Congo, Kenyan President William Ruto said his country's troops will do whatever it takes to bring stability to the DRC's Far East. Peaceful, unsecure, unstable Eastern DRC and DRC is not only good for the people of Congo, it is good for the people of our region. I have come to confirm to my brother and to the people of DRC that Kenya will play its role. Kenyan troops touched down in the DRC earlier this month, joining an East African regional force that is aiming to end decades of bloodshed. More than 120 armed groups continue to operate across large parts of East Congo, despite billions of dollars spent on one of the United Nations' largest peacekeeping forces. We are acutely aware that we have many, keep, many peacekeeping troops in DRC. But from where we sit as a region, we do not think there is much peace to keep. In April, the seven countries of the East African Community, or EAC, agreed to set up a force to fight the militia groups. Among them are M23 rebels who have staged a major offensive this year, seizing territory and forcing thousands of people from their homes. Congo has repeatedly accused Rwanda of backing the M23 group, a claim Rwanda denies. For his part, DRC President Felix Chisichetti thanked Ruto for his commitment to help the country find peace. Also on Monday, regional neighbor Uganda said it would send a thousand troops, the third country to contribute after Burundi and Kenya. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.